Hello friends, welcome to Bindu Dadwal Chemistry Lessons. The topic that we choose today is molecular orbital theory to explain bonding in molecules. Molecular orbital theory was developed by F. Hunt and R.S. Mullican in 1932. The salient features of the theory are electrons in a molecule are present in various molecular orbitals as electrons of atoms are present in various atomic orbitals. The atomic orbitals of comparable energies and proper symmetry combine to form molecular orbitals. While an electron in an atomic orbital is influenced by one nucleus in a molecular orbital, it is influenced by two or more nuclei depending upon the number of atoms in the molecule. Thus, an atomic orbital is monocentric while molecular orbital is polycentric. The number of molecular orbitals formed is equal to the number of combining atomic orbitals. When two atomic orbitals combine, two molecular orbitals are formed. One is known as bonding molecular orbital and the other is known as anti-bonding molecular orbital. The bonding molecular orbital has lower energy and hence greater stability than the corresponding anti-bonding molecular orbital. Just as the electron probability distribution around a nucleus in an atom is given by an atomic orbital, the electron probability distribution around a group of nuclei in a molecule is given by a molecular orbital. The molecular orbitals like atomic orbitals are filled in accordance with the OFPO principle obeying the Pauli's exclusion principle and Hund's rule. So, uh, the formation of molecular orbitals can be approached by the linear combination of atomic orbital approach method. According to wave mechanics, the atomic orbitals can be represented by the wave function psi, which is the amplitude of the wave function. And uh, these are obtained from the solution of Schrodinger. Well, wave equation, however, since it cannot be solved for any system containing more than one electron, molecular orbitals, which are one electron wave functions of molecules, are difficult to obtain directly from the Schrodinger wave equation. What we say is that the atomic orbitals of two atoms, which are to form the molecule, will linearly combine with each other in two manners. Either the two wave functions having the same signs uh, are uh, interacting in a constructive manner to form a resulting molecular orbital with wave function that is more than either of the two. And this kind of resulting molecular orbital is called bonding molecular orbital or a wave function with plus sign combines with minus sign, destructive interference occurs and anti-bonding molecular orbital results with wave function less than the atomic orbitals. So, uh, let us apply this method to uh, homonuclear diatomic hydrogen molecules. Consider the hydrogen molecule consisting of two atoms A and B. The or orbitals on the sides are the atomic orbitals, when they combine with each other in a linear manner, they will form molecular orbitals which are shown in the center. So, uh, in hydrogen molecule, the atom A, its electronic configuration is 1s1. So, there is one electron in the 1s orbital. The amplitude of the wave function of this electron is psi A. Similarly, the amplitude of wave function of the atom B in the hydrogen molecule is psi b. Now these two will combine each other to form two molecular or two atomic orbitals combine to form two molecular orbitals. When they uh, add up in constructive manner, the molecular orbital formed is called bonding molecular orbital. It has lower energy than that of the atomic orbitals. It is represented by sigma. So sigma is psi a plus psi b. And the other uh, molecular orbital will be formed when they the uh, destructive 
interference occurs the two wave functions are subtracted from each other and uh, uh, the resulting molecular orbital has energy higher than that of atomic orbitals and it is called anti-bonding molecular orbital and it is represented by psi star so psi star is equal to psi of a minus psi of b each hydrogen atom in the ground state has one electron in the 1s orbital atomic orbitals of these atoms may be represented by the wave function psi a and psi b mathematically the formation of molecular orbitals may be described by the linear combination of atomic orbitals that can take place by addition and by subtraction of wave functions of individual atomic orbitals shown below so the amplitude of molecular orbital psi m o will be psi a plus or minus psi b so two molecular orbitals sigma and sigma star are formed sigma will be formed by addition of the wave functions and sigma star will be formed by subtraction of the wave function the molecular orbital sigma formed by the addition of atomic orbitals is called bonding molecular orbital while the molecular orbital sigma star formed by the subtraction of atomic orbitals is called anti bonding molecular orbital qualitatively the formation of molecular orbitals can be understood in terms of constructive interference and destructive interference so in constructive interference the two wave functions that combine uh, they are combining with the same signs on the same side so as a result the resulting wave has amplitude bigger than these uh, wave functions and psi molecular orbital or wave function of molecular orbital is sum of the wave functions of atomic orbitals this is addition of wave functions in the formation of a bonding this is this molecular orbital is bonding molecular orbital in the formation of bonding molecular orbital the two electron waves of the bonding atoms reinforce each other due to constructive interference the, this is the diagram for uh, subtractive interference the wave function of one atom and the wave function of other atom have opposite signs one is plus one is minus so as a result the resulting uh, wave function is obtained by cancellation of the wave function so it has lesser amplitude and it's it is represented as the ampl uh, the molecular amplitude of the molecular orbital formed is psi a minus psi b this is subtraction of wave function and this molecular orbital is anti bonding in the formation of anti bonding molecular orbital the electron waves cancel each other due to destructive interference we can also represent bonding and anti bonding molecular orbitals in terms of orbital overlap so when these atomic orbitals having the same sign they overlap resulting molecular orbital has more electrons in between the nuclei and uh, the bond molecular orbital prefers bonding so it is called bonding molecular orbital in the other case atomic orbitals have opposite signs or you can say that uh, one is being subtracted from the other as a result when the molecular orbital is formed the electrons are away from the nuclei there there are no new electrons present between the nuclei this kind of a molecular orbital is called anti bonding molecular orbital the bonding molecular orbital has less energy than the anti bonding molecular orbital in case of bonding molecular orbital the electron density is more between the nuclei of the bonded atoms as a result the nuclei are shielded from each other and the repulsion in them is small the electrons in the bonding molecular orbital help the nuclei together and stabilize the molecule and uh, their energy decreases than that of the atomic orbital the decrease in energy of bonding molecular orbital as compared to the atomic orbitals is called stabilizing energy so here this is the energy of atomic orbital this is the energy of bonding the difference between the energy is called stabilizing energy similarly this the difference between the energy of anti bonding molecular orbital and atomic orbital will be called destabilizing 
energy. In an antibonding molecular orbital, most of the electron density is located away from the space between the nuclei. As a result, the nuclei are less shielded and rather exposed to each other more than a bonding molecular orbital. In an antibonding molecular orbital, the electrons tend to destabilize it. The increase in energy in antibonding molecular orbital as compared to the atomic orbital is called destabilizing energy. The difference between atomic and molecular orbital, in atomic orbital, the electron cloud extends around the nucleus of a single atom. In molecular orbital, the electron cloud extends around the nuclei of the bonded atoms in the molecule. You can see there is only one nucleus around which the electron cloud is extended and this electron cloud is extended around both the nuclei. It is in monocentric in nature, it is polycentric in nature. It has properties of a single atom only, it has the properties of combining atoms. Its shape is simple, its shape is complex in nature. Atomic orbitals are designated as SPDF, molecular orbitals are designated as sigma, sigma star, pi and pi star. Distinction between bonding and anti-bonding molecular orbitals. A bonding molecular orbital is formed by the linear combination of two atomic orbitals when their wave functions are added. Um, an anti-bonding molecular orbital is formed by linear combination of two atomic orbitals when their wave functions are subtracted. Uh, it is formed when the lobes of combining atomic orbitals have same sign that is plus and plus or minus and minus. It is formed when the lobes of combining atomic orbitals have opposite signs plus and minus. Its energy is less than that of combining atomic orbitals. Its energy is more than that of combining atomic orbitals. It increases the electron density in the space between the nuclei of atomic orbitals. Nuclei are shielded. It uh, decreases the electron density in the space between the nuclei of atomic orbitals, that is, nuclei are deshielded. The, it stabilizes the molecule and favors the formation of bond. It tends to destabilize the molecule and does not favor, favor the bond formation. It can be represented as sigma, pi and delta. It is shown by the side sigma star, pi star and delta star.